Hey guys, it's Candace Wiley from The Watering Hole and I wanted to do a quick informal video on creative funding options if you're trying to fund your trip to The Watering Hole in December or if you just want to figure out how to fund any any creative writing trips. Um, this should be helpful for you. It's going to be short and long at the same time. I'm going to pack a lot of information in. Um, but hopefully it'll be helpful and maybe we can do a more extended thing for the people who get accepted to the retreat in August. Please remind me of that. I haven't cleared it with Monifa yet. I'm just talking. So um, here we go. First thing, Monifa and I pound the pavement um, every year getting funding, donations, scholarship, um, sorry, donation, donation, sponsorships, grants, things like that for the watering hole. And our goal is always to hit that 50% mark or over. And then the price you see is the other side of that, the other half of what it takes to fund the retreat. The, the fee that you see includes tuition, registration, and housing. So it does not pay for your travel or your food. So what we do to counter that is we group people in cabins together so that they can share food costs. They go grocery shopping on the first night and then they can cook for each other, um, share the cost of food. Like if you're buying a pack of oranges, there's you can't eat all of them. You share them with your cabin mates. The other thing we do is we have a travel thread that we upload so that people can ride share together. So when it comes to creative funding options, here are some things that you can do. First, look at your state arts commission. Number one, look at your state arts council arts commission whatever it is because they their job is to support your art is support to support your work so they have professional development opportunities that's i'm saying these are googleable terms or whatever when you get to the website they have performance opportunities they have reading opportunities and those are terms you should use when you're searching for the grants especially for the watering hole because you have the classes professional development and you have the public reading at the fish fry which is like reading performance. Um, the second thing is to do the same thing for your city, your county, and your region of the state. A lot of times there are foundations and organizations that support arts in those very local regions. And they might be small grants, but $2,000, like, it makes a difference. That covers the everything you would need for the retreat, plus some. Like, then you'd be like, ah, oh, I think um, I want chips on this flight, or whatever it is, like, like you two thousand dollars goes a long way um three look at regional grants so i'm saying like southwestern states southeastern states regional na in the nation there are organizations who who fund those organizations and foundations four if you are part of a university student or faculty there's so many funding opportunities at universities so Look at your department, look at other kind of related departments. So if you're in the English department, look there, but African American studies or Africana studies might be interested in this kind of trip too. Um, the language department, if we were bringing in a bilingual artist who wrote in Spanish and English and that was your writing project, that they might be interested in funding you. So think creative about that. That's, that's 4A. 4B is like, look through your college. So this is like the College of Arts and Sciences, the College of Architecture and Arts, whatever your college in your university might have funding opportunities. And then 4C, look at special offices like the Dean's Office or the Office of Diversity. Those are good places to, to check for funds. So that's four finished. Now five, a good way to do it and I haven't cleared this with Monifa yet but I think it's a great idea so we'll see contact us um if you want to do a Facebook birthday funder fundraiser and your your birthday is coming up so you after you go through one through four the Facebook funder the reason you would need us is because um they only accept you can only do the birthday funder funder if your the funds go directly to a nonprofit. And since we're a nonprofit, we can collect those on your behalf and apply them directly to uh, your account or whatever. But this is also why I'm saying check with us first so that we we are aware that this is happening and we know to keep a lookout for your 
your Facebook fund fundraiser also so that we can talk about the timeline because it takes Facebook like 60 days to pay out and we can talk about disbursement like if you don't meet your mark or if you go over your mark like all of these things need to be discussed this was just a great idea I had just now so uh, let's uh, if that's something that you're inter interested in hit us up and then the the six would be GoFundMe GoFundMe in my opinion is a great last resort for gap funding so if like we have all these other resources that I named that are just for supporting your arts so start there and then if you end up with tuition but still don't have travel that's a good time to do GoFundMe and I think your GoFundMe would be more successful because you would say here are the organizations who that have supported this trip so far they put this amount to it da -da 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 -da, and now I'm reaching out to you for this final push and it seems it just seems like a great idea so where would you look for these funding opportunities first start with your state's arts commission or arts council they probably have a resource page that would lead you to other grantors so start there and then look at their grants look at their research page and then go to those other grantors websites and they will have research resource pages so that's two different sources at least that you're getting grant information from and then the third would be look at the bios of your near peers and see what fellowships and scholarships they're getting if they if you know that they just took a trip to london or wherever go go look at their bio and then they'll likely tell you how they took that trip or just ask them like but i think bios are like easy and quick you can just be like oh i keep seeing this thing over and over especially if that peer has like things in common with you like demographically either race or region or art or whatever and the fourth thing of course Google start with your city then go out to your county then go out to your region of the state then your state then your region of the country and move out that way also check for uh, the demographic uh, special grants like things that deal with race gender sexuality ethnicity language things like that so sorry this was quick and long at the same time i hope it was helpful i hope that um helps some of you guys like and feel empowered to get yourself to wherever you need to go in your arts whether it's to the watering hole in december or any other opportunities throughout the year uh, good luck with it keep writing keep reading do poetry bye